Yes. Um, if, if further investigation finds, um, connects uh, any of these defendants to pulling actual triggers, will there be murder charges filed, perhaps, or murder charges recommended? Certainly there's that potential. Um, we're not ruling anything out at this point, so uh, any additional ev evidence or leads, we'll, we'll certainly pursue those uh, until their end. Is it suspected that um, these individuals or anybody else from their gang may be suspected in the murders of the Burian teens from last month? Really at this point, um, we're not ruling anything out. Certainly that's a possibility, but at this point, we're just in a position to say we're just not going to rule those things out. Again, as evidence uh, presents itself, we'll follow all the leads to their, uh, their natural end. Can you give us a, a, a briefing again on the, on the timeline of this? So when was the search warrant, warrant issued and how long have you been tracking these guys on Facebook? So I'm not sure what re uh, search warrant you're referring to, but I'm really not in a position to give you a sort of a chronological without having documents in front of me, a chronological order of when we did, uh, took one step to the next. Can you say the warrant was issued on 2017? Or? Uh, again, we're following the, the cert that's public record, and so I want to stay really specific uh, on the certification, which is public source. Can you talk about the, the task force that was formed and, and how much that may have helped in finding these suspects? Well, I think we've collaborated with a lot of our partners. Uh, obviously, ATF, as the sheriff indicated, um, a lot of our precinct and our metro uh, special enforcement teams were an integral part of this investigation, and they continue to be. Do you have any more information about this gang, the United Lakotas? I mean, with the rest of these guys, I mean, how much does this suppress some of the activity out there? Well, we feel really confident that uh, taking five of these suspects off the street uh, is a significant impact on uh, not only uh, what they do on a daily basis, but hopefully reassuring our community that we are actively pursuing uh, gang activity and where it happens. Does this cause a dent in some of their activities, at least? Or how would you, what would you say to the public out there who are very concerned about this, this rise in gang violence? I think this is a significant step in at least uh, knocking down the ULs. Now, it's not going to end gang violence, but certainly we feel confident that uh, the arrest of these five suspects is a significant step towards suppressing their actions. Joel, can you speak to, I mean, it certainly seems to be a perceived uptick in gang violence. Is that also, you know, the way you guys are looking at it, and can you account for why that might be? You know, I really can't account for uh, the, the perception. Um, but certainly we are focused on uh, each and every incident. I think it's clear from the CERT that um, there's been some retaliation that's been going back and forth and that has no borders. So I think for all of our, our uh, partners uh, in other jurisdictions, neighboring partners, um, this uh, certainly is impacting uh, the, the community's ability to feel safe um, because they don't know where it's going to happen next. And so, again, we feel like uh, these five suspects um, are a significant step towards uh, sort of calming some of those waters.